It's a very aggressive format. Crafting like the uh, like red white is one of the strongest colors I think, if not the strongest color pairing in this format. Another really good one is uh, red black. I think red in general is the strongest color in this set, but um, and I think blue personally is the f least good color here. All right, pack one. Tough cookies, pretty good. Scalding Wiper is a card that I really enjoy. It's very good early on, and it can be nice control as well. If you are going second, it can slow down the opponent quite nicely. Um, am I going to take it, though? I've drafted this card quite a bunch. Um, and it's not a bad card to draft, actually. I think I'm going to take it here. It's a good rare. It puts us into certain colors, but we obviously want to stay open to other colors, potentially. Like, we're not forced into red-blue right now. This is literally the first pack, and the first pack was kind of... Aight at best. Um, Alright, here we have some... Wow, we have some really good ones here. These are all really fat. This card is pretty good. Uh, this card is great. I, I'm a big fan of this card, but obviously it doesn't need to be that great. Hopeful Vigil is good. This is a very specific card, but if you can pull off... This is nicer the later you get it, depending on what kind of deck you are. Um... Cutting is great. Torch the to Tower is great. I think, personally, I'm, I'm a big fan of Torch the to Tower because it's just early game removal. And it stays in our red. We don't have to force... We don't have to play um, red-blue, though. I think the Scalding Wiper 2-1 stat line is decent enough. The annoying thing is that it is a 2-1 and it is, this set has a bunch of 1 toughness removal. So that's uh, something we have to keep our eye out. Spiteful Hex Mage is I. The best card here, I think, is Unruly Catapult if we are going to be taking the route that we are going to be taking. And that's more of a like blue red spells deck. Deck. Sorry. <laughs> spells deck. So I like the Unruly Catapult a lot here. Good card, very good card. This can single-handedly just kill opponents. Because its ability says that it, 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 you can tap it to deal one damage, and whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, untap it. If you have two of this on the board, your opponent is on a clock, for sure. Like, it's so it's so awesome. Like, it's also really awkward to remove this card. Because there's a lot bigger threats in this format. Okay, here we have. Some all right cards. Flick a coin is pretty decent. Glutton's great. Scavenger's great. Some good green cards here. If we had picked the the tough cookie in the first pack, um, I am a big fan of flick a coin though. This card is very strong. It allows you to play multiple colors as well. Um, am I going to be playing somewhat of a green deck? I don't think so. I think we are... We kind of know what we want to be playing here. Fairy Fencing, though. And I'm talking about this card. Is very good. So is Feed the Cauldron. We could still be, like, red, black, blue. That's not a bad play. As I said, I don't really need this to be that there. I think this is the best card in the pack by far, though. Kellen Light Blade's also pretty good. We want to go into red-white, but I don't think our deck really fits red-white playstyle that much. And here we get a blue-black fairy as well. Huh. Although Hopeless Nightmare is also very good. If we're going to go black- Red. The Alchemist is also decent, but I kind of really like this Hopeless Nightmare card. It works very well with a lot of the bargain cards, which allow you to sacrifice these enchantments for extra value. Now, Aquatic Alchemist is pretty solid with certain archetypes, but I think this is just overall the better card. 
Twisted Reality, uh, sorry, Twisted Fealty. This can win you a game very easily against certain green decks. Quick Study is good. Lectern is okay, but we don't have much to really do with Lectern. Which is Aight. Vermin I'm a big fan of, although he does not seem to really fit our deck that much. Not really. Quick Study's okay. If I were to pick a card, he whoop. wait, what? What did I get now? I got Fealty. Okay, that's fine. Second Catapult is actually really good. I am a big fan of Second Catapult here. Want as many of those as I can get. Here we get the Quick Study back. I think I just take the Quick Transmuter is also decent. I think I actually take the Transmuter here. And now we wield some pretty solid stuff. Screen Puff's nice. Archive Dragon is a good bomb later on. I think I'll take the Dragon here. Oh, Gatekeeper is also really good. Draw four cards, discard two. For seven mana, that seems really bad. I think I just take the, the Gatekeeper here. Oh, Stopgap over Fey. I think I like the Stopgap to sort of stop my opponent from gapping. <laughs> the fact that I laughed at that was... Oh, and we get the uh, Alchemist back as well. Oh, yes. That is a fantastic pickup here. Crown of Winter is insane. We have a third Unruly Catapult. That's really good. But you can't say no. This basically stops your opponent in a lot of ways. It also helps you against wide attacks because you can sacrifice this for three for every um, tapped creature your opponent controls. So very powerful little card there. I need to see what our curve looks like. Okay. These are our removal spells. I guess I'd like some more early game, some one drops potentially. Yeah, Icy Orb is nuts. Where's Icy Orb? I guess that's what you mean with Icy Orb. In Ooh, okay. This card is also really sick. Hearth Elemental also really... Wow, this is a insane pack for us. Wow. Oof. So the choices are between Hearth Elemental or Indigenous. Ingenious, sorry. But I think this card is completely nuts value-wise. It's kind of a card that the opponent has to remove. It's late game and early... I mean, mostly it is late game, but the same goes for Hearth Elemental. There's a consideration to take this, though, but I think I'm taking the Prodigy. How many sorceries do we have? We don't... I, I'm looking for more sorceries, I guess, at this point. Another Gatekeeper over the Asinine Antics. This card is surprisingly strong in the late game. Because you can play it for its flash cost, and then when the opponent attacks, you can kind of get him pretty good. So I actually don't mind taking it. I've been a big fan of this card. Target player mills for cards. Toughness equal to the cards in graveyard. Not sure we want to really be doing this. Mm. Here I am definitely not opposed to taking ice out. I'm not sure we are going to be playing black here. I don't. <sighs> Fencing is so good though. It's definitely worth splashing, but I don't think we're playing the Nightmare. Ice Out's all right. Can Chancel is also not terrible. I think I just take the Ice Out though. Counter Spell seems decent. Oh, and we got back the Obira. How good is our red anyway? Blue's really good. Red is decent. I think I just take the Grabby Giant here. Fixes the mana. Oh, this is a really good white card. Okay, there's not much for us in this one. I think I'll just take the, the moats here. Dreams, Mocking Sprite's great. This reduces everything a little bit in our deck. I don't think I'm going to be playing Obira here. Could also take the Wondra, but I like the Mocking Sprites a lot. And here we get a second Archive Dragon or a Thread Bind Click, which does work quite nicely with the Crown of Winter. Gotta be said. Second dragon could be Aight. Could also be Red Cap Thief. Actually, I think Red Cap Thief is better here. Fixes the mana. It's third Unruly Catapult. All right, we want, I think, more sorceries in this. Sleight of Hand is nice. 
Gatekeeper actually also pretty decent. It is a sorcery, right? We do have some actual like we have like hidden sorcery spells, right? What did I take? God damn it! I hate when this when the game does that. What? Oh, we got the beanstalk worm. Okay, that's annoying. How does the timer run out on me and these guys are still like are waiting? Okay, we got the second balloon gatekeeper. Okay, here I kind of want into the Fey Court here as a card draw spell. Spell stutter we can put on the side. I don't think this card's that fantastic in our deck. All right, pack two. We already have a pretty solid deck. Extraordinary Journey. What else is good here? Cut-in is good here. Exile up to X target creatures for each of those cards. It's owner play it for as long as it remains exiled. Whenever one or more non-token creatures enter the battlefield, if one or more of them entered from exile or it was from cast from exile, you draw a card. So this also works really well with the in, with the um. This is not bad, but is it better than cut in? I don't think so. I think cut-in is just better removal here. We could act potentially actually wield that rare. Journey is amazing. Which journey? Okay, so what are we cutting right now? Mm, I'm not too fond of the thief here. As for toll, what does this do? At the beginning of your upkeep, put a time counter. As for toll, once each turn you pay zero rather than pay the mana cost of four spell. Cast with mana value X or less, where X is the number of. Wait, what? Okay, this is too much text. Oh my god, but we got Frolicking Familiar. What am I doing not playing this card? This card is insane. In our deck, at least. Alright, right now, our deck's looking pretty solid, actually. Maybe some more card draw. Virtue of Knowledge is good, but I don't think it it does anything here. I think I'd actually take the Crystal Grotto for the fixing. Because I do have one black card that I kind of want to be playing. How many creatures do I have? I have 13 creatures. And a lot of them are adventure spells on top of just being solid creatures. Okay. Another ice out or an evolving. I actually take the evolving wilds here. Because I want to fix the mana. I don't think the second ice out is necessary. Since we also don't have that much bargain synergy here. Not really. Twisted Fealty, I'm probably also can not run. <laughs> Guess I can put back the Thief or the Fealty. I'm not sure about spells. Spell Stutter doesn't really work in this deck. Like late game, it's very weak. And here we get the Transmuter. Oops, somebody's calling me. All right. A fourth Unruly Catapult, I think that's pretty much locks it in. I don't think I need two of these transmuters. Um, those are two, so we're on 24. I, I can make one more cut. Picklock Prankster is also really good, actually. I, I'm a big fan of this card. Um, so I can cut this again, cut one of the gatekeepers. Yeah, this looks like a deck that we can play for sure. Mainly blue. But we got some fixing as well for the other colors. Especially for the unruly catapults that we want. Got a lot of early game. Got some counter magic. Sorry, counter magic. Uh, I'm not a fan of disdainful stroke in this format. Everything goes way too fast. What the fuck? Okay, so at the beginning of your upkeep, put a time counter on us for 12. Once each turn, you pay zero rather than pay the mana cost for a spell you cast with mana value X or the break. That is so freaking slow i'd rather actually just take the attendant but i'm not even sure i'm gonna play it oh well, this is a good card sprites also wheeling wow okay ice out wheeling as well okay uh, do i need the stop gap i don't think i need the stop gap actually okay so what is this minus two so we need to make two more cuts do i just cut fencing <sighs> fair fencing is so good though is it worth splashing though, just to have those colors? I don't think it is worth it. I still think I will play these cards. 
Um, do I need the Fey Court? I can try it if it feels weak. I think I'll definitely keep four uh, Catapults. Can get rid of one Ice out. So I said we don't have that many bargain effects. All right, let's try it like this. Yeah, I know, I know, but it's it's so expensive, and this is such a fast format. The enchantment that you that we're talking that you were talking about, I probably could have picked it, but I think the the four damage is just so much stronger. All right, that's a pretty decent hand. I would think so. This is sorcery speed, right? I think I can just play this out now. Okay. Go. Knight of Doves, okay. There's the unruly catapult. I shouldn't have played an island there, that was silly. Alright, let's play the catapult now, that was very dumb by me. I messed up there. Okay, so he's gonna kill the Viper. <clears throat> this has already dealt three damage to him. Okay. Am I gonna block? I don't think I am. Okay, so he's gonna. Banish my catapult. Attack for three. That's okay. So, what do we do here? I'm gonna just play the five, uh, four, five now. Guess I could have kept one mana open. Probably should have killed the dove. Okay. Okay. In response, I will deal one damage to you sacrifice this that's pretty good I will decline here Has life link, huh? And this is okay. Decline. No attacks. Bro, how many freaking oofs do you have? That's so annoying. Why is it so good? Literally, he killed, he exiled three of my uncut up. Oh my god, that's so ridiculous. Uh, that's just kind of annoying. No blocks. There it is. Um, 
This costs a lot less to cast suddenly. Okay. I will not attack. Sure. He has some sort of trick. Hmm. No blocks. Another Knight of Doves. We have so many options now. If I play you, how much mana do I have left? Two exactly. <clears throat> so I think I want to bounce. If I play you. I think I want to bounce this flyer here. Start attacking. Mm -hmm. Wait, I have, I have two extra mana. So if I do this. Okay. This is the same. I could just play the grabby giant. And I can still do the, the antics. All right, uh, let's threaten lethal with this. Good card. And turn flyers are quite annoying, as we all know. This card got him so much treasure, but it doesn't really do it didn't really do much for him in the end. Sure. So next turn one I have ideal four nine. So he's dead exactly. Should have attacked with both, I think. Put a bottom a turn. Alright, GG. Very well. I mean, he, he got rid of all my stuff, but then I had more stuff, and then that was pretty good. Yep, felt good. Hey, what's up, Moshcraft? <laughs> Are you also a Magic the Gathering player? Why are you are you a fan account or are you actually Moshcraft just kind of trolling around? Oh, look at this. I'm yellow now. 
fix that to myself not yellow all right I'll tell myself blue and orange this hand is good we have the mana fix if I draw one land it's really good that's a really good draw so one drop we do have torch to tower for it okay I think that we want to kill. Yeah. Seems aight. Wicked visitor. I think I need to slow him down here. Could have also played the crown, but I kind of like the crown with while I have one mana open. Sure. Catapult is great here. He's going to attack with the 1-1. One, one. I'm not going to block because <clears throat> he can get death touch. He could have the... Four mana, kill a damaged unit. Okay, I would like to draw. All right, two catapult seems good. Ah, f ah, not hitting land, bro. I need a land. If I don't draw net land next turn, I'm in big trouble. I think, but. Okay. Resolves. Because I with a land I can pickpocket prankster. I think now I need to block at least once here. Even if he has the four mana fairy that. Kills a damaged unit. Okay, that's what he had. Okay, fine. Pretty strong. That's a land. That's good. Okay. Um. The antics are great here. Flying Vigilance seems pretty good as well. Okay. He has a pretty good deck. Very good deck, actually. <clears throat> I'm not going to play around a second Bread Hunter or a second Grapple. That's just not going to happen. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Grotto is great here. We'll keep that on top for sure. I mean, why not just make everything a 1-1? One, one? I can play this, though. Into the m Mutator. I think that's more efficient with my mana. Go.
Alright, he's getting through slowly and steadily. Minstrosity. And the witch. Okay, that's a bit spooky. Well, I think now we just pop this, right? It leaves one mana open to tap something as well. <laughs> All right, um, sure. We are low on health here. He has a lot of creatures, but I think s this point, okay, that's a good draw. Okay, um, I think I need to do this. Oops. <sighs> I think I need to do it like this. I, need, I think I need to put two creatures on the board here to get as, as little damage as possible. And a 1-2 is pretty good against his board right now. We are... Wait, oh, I think we're dead here. Are we dead? I'm not sure. He attacks for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can block two. Okay, that's nice. Oh, wait, we're dead, though. Yeah. Oh, man. This format is so aggro. I mean, two at Candy Grapple... Yeah, he had a lot of gas there. We'd also had a lot of gas, but it just wasn't enough in the end. What did we need in this matchup? We needed the We did we needed flick a coin. Wait, that's the wrong block. Ah, yeah, even if we keep the Hilda open, if we keep the Hilda mana open, Royal treatment. Okay, okay, well, that's good good for you. Yeah, he drew pretty well there. Almost exact lethal. And he also had the royal wow, okay, so this guy just had a really good good draw. I had to block there as well, like at some point anyway, right? He he always had a trick there, but God, that's that's frustrating. That was quite frustrating. Yo, Spiro, thanks for the raid. We're playing Magic, not Snap, but appreciate the raid. Hope some of you do know a bit about Magic. We are currently drafting. We are playing an Is It Red Blue deck with these unruly catapults going brr on our opponent. Pretty good hand. Opponent does go first. Yeah, this this format is is very much down to who goes first. Does he have the one drop? Utopia sprawl. Okay, he's got a little bit of ramp. Okay, I see, I see. I respect the ramp. Hope y'all had a good stream. This is permanent, right? No, target creature. Shows white. Okay. I guess I should have played red to sort of 
I could have kind of baited it here, but that's fine. This Balloonist Gatekeeper is going to be very good if he plays a, a good free drop here. This can put us quite ahead here. Okay, this could have dealt with our Catapult, but it didn't. Now, I actually don't really want a Balloona, but I'm just going to do that actually still. You need to you need to do any... As, if you can do something, you should do something. In this format, usually. Not the biggest fan of that, but a... Hey. It do be like that sometimes. Let's see what he plays here. If he plays the oof again, I'm very happy. Okay, that's good. I like that. I like that. Okay, that's nice. We got the catapult. If he attacks here, I'm not going to block. I'll take two. What is that good? What? That's a freaking Godzilla. That's sick, bro. I want that. <laughs> How do you get that? Wait. He's tapped out, so I'll just block here. Okay. Um. The Asinine Antics with the Flicker Coin is pretty sick. Okay. Resolve. Because this is when you tap an untapped creature, you draw a card. We'll take three here. I think I have to do this now. This is just too much value. Also, I can flick a coin as flyer now. I think next turn we can go for the second unruly catapult. Yeah, good thing. Oh, wait. These all get plus one, plus one. Oh, God. All right. Uh, well, flick a coin don't work out as much as I wanted it to. Guess I could have liked the counter. I should have. Man, should I have kept the counter open there? Maybe. Take five here. Very annoying now. I'll make a three four. Oh, I forgot to deal one damage to him. That was a mistake. That was actually a mistake. He's got four colors. Curved out. Oh, shit. That's so good. Am I dead? If I don't block, I'm dead. That's sick. I have to chump? Fuck, I have to chump. Take eight? Oh my god. Well, we're dead. Unless we can draw something insane here. Yeah, I mean... <sighs> that he has Sir Armand after I play... Ah, uh, this is just ridiculous. Okay. Uh, this feels so bad. Wow, that one felt unlucky, honestly. I think I should have just kept open Counterspell. I was very close to... 
um, stabilizing there, but he had he had the perfect counter to my card, which just doesn't feel good, obviously. Also, then he had the the otter. Yeah, he had he had a lot of big boys there. All right, good good hand yet again. See if this can scry us an island. It depends on what he's gonna do next here. That's good. Yet again, we go second once again, and this is just going to be a bit of an issue. Alright. I think I have to answer his unruly catapult with my unruly catapult. Okay. catapults man okay all right activate Brr. Mm. put that on bottom Just run out the four three. Okay. Stop! Ugh. All right. Thank fuck. This finally need. This needs to go. This needs zero. This has dealt eight damage to my face. Jesus Christ. Oh, she has haste? I didn't know that. Forget about that. Whoops, take two for no reason. That's my mistake. Uh. Nice, finally an island. Okay. Um 
Gotta be a little bit aggressive here, I think. Keep ice out open, that's nice. I'll take the two here. Okay, sure. Okay, nice. I think now we are in a good spot. Why does this... Wait. Can I cancel? Oh, this only creates one mana. Whoops. Uh, let's run out the big boy. Sure. What's a counter spell anyway to us? I don't, I don't care about these two islands. Okay. Can't let me draw cards here. This is a nice two for one. And that's game over. All right, sweet, that looked pretty nice. That's kind of what I want the deck to be doing. Even though I did misplay that one as well. All right, watch us get absolutely stomped here. Good hand. I think I want to get it on the board as fast as I can here. Don't want another island here. I think I'll just play out the one three here. Oof, that's pretty good. I'll counter this. Mm-hmm. There are the mountains. <laughs> Took them a while. Okay. Okay. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I want to keep two open or this open in case he does something weird here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tap out here. Okay, block three.
fine. Don't want more of these islands, please. Those are the ones I want. Okay. Um. All right. Let's go. Now these things go. Brr. Resolve. Block three here. That's a sick draw. Um, don't want to keep two mana open here. That's what four? No, it's five. This is X four. All right. <clears throat> We're looking pretty ahead here. Sure. One blocker. Go. This is instant speed. He's stuck on three lands this entire game, which is kind of sad, obviously, but what you're going to do? Got two removals. Um... Okay, he's drawing well though, he's got a pretty low curve, I can't, I can't block, Yeah, these these things go quite brr. All right, let's see what we draw. Nope, nope. Is there a reason to hold up mana here? Absolutely not. Did he finally draw his last land here? We can't really attack here. Okay. <laughs> I don't think he's going to like this one. Um, I don't think I'll attack here. Because I can't kill him. If I, if I can kill him, I would attack, but I can't, so... They missed so many lands, yeah. Oh, Griff. Oh, Griffinary's good though. Griffinary's very good though. He is gonna get a two-two flyer here. 
But yeah, he's completely mana screwed here. This is, this has been this has been quite one sided. Okay, go. If he can somehow pull this back, I'm going to be quite impressed, but he's looking good right now. Okay. That's also pretty strong. Wait, is this during my turn? Oh, whoops. That was my bad. Um, I lo I missed two damage there. That's actually very relevant. I'm gonna need to start attacking with this dude. Oh, I misplayed there. I didn't look at the. Th the oh man. In Magic, it's, it's, it's oh, the client is so... I mean, it's a very good client, to be fair. I'm not gonna... Are we dead here? Wait, am I... Did I mess up here? Am I dead to stab wound? Oh, I'm dead to stab wound, aren't I? He attacks for... Okay. I shouldn't have attacked. Okay, well... Flick a coin, save me. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GG. Nice. That was close. We actually baited him. That's kind of funny. <laughs> he almost won that, even though he was stuck on three lands for a while. Alright, sweet. We got, what is that, three wins now? I hope that's three wins. Please don't be just be two wins. Ah, oh, three wins, thank God. I mean, three wins still isn't that great. We need we need five. You need five wins to actually be in a good spot financially. <laughs> Otherwise, you are just going to get absolutely screwed over by the Magic Boys. Good hand. Mm, I think I want blue... Here? Yeah, I think I want blue. Mmm. That's kind of nasty. Um, I think I just play the Scalding Viper here. I don't mind if he kills this. Yeah, that's fine. Better to kill this than my unruly catapult. Man, going first here is so sick. Like, actually so crazy good. I mean, that's kind of cute. And yeah, that is actually kind of cute. All right, let's untap the thing, I guess. Oh, we get one fairy. That's kind of nice. Go. Oh, 
Mr. Unruly Catapult. This card's pretty good against this right now. This takes five to, okay. Quite relevant. Yeah, sure. Four, four, okay. Mm hmm. Very good draw. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Go. This prodigy is so good, man. It's probably gonna die, but it's so good still. Like it just eats a removal. What does he target? Sure. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'd like to activate this. You mean you can tap my my sprite here. Yeah, it's probably gonna do that. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> this is getting kind of spooky. The Frostbridge guard with the sanctuary. Need to get rid of one of these. I would like to draw extra cards. Yes, I would like to scry one. <laughs> I don't think we need more than that, though. I will play the Durabi Giant here. Sick. I think we're a bit too fast here for him. Ooh, okay. Are we dead? I don't think we are dead. Sure. Do I take this? Or do I chump? But I have him dead next wait, do I have him the dead next turn? I deal one now, he's on four. Yeah, he's dead next turn, so I think I just take 
I think I just chump in case he has something really weird. That's fine. That doesn't do much here. Draw cards. All right, GG. Oops, I kind of forgot about. Whatever, it doesn't matter. This catapult is a broken card, guys. This card is kind of sick, man. This card is completely sick. It's still, it's still so much damage. It's actually insane. Actually broken. Actually broken. All right. We got four wins. Let's go. All right. Now I don't mind if we lose. I mean, I still do mind if we lose. But we're, we're not making loss. We didn't make too much of a loss here. <laughs> Financially. So I'm pretty happy with that. Heinz. <laughs> Heinz is a funny ass name, actually. I like that one. I'm a big fan. Big fan of your work, friend. Ah, he goes first. We don't like those. Let's get a blue here. This evolving lot wilds has been actually very clutch. It's fixed our mana quite nicely. Ooh, hopeful vigil, probably the one of the best. I think I just play this now. I would like to find the the giant or whatever it's called. Okay, that's annoying, but this is what it is. I'll do this. I don't think I want a two for one here. Okay. Okay. I'll keep on with the attendance. See, now there's an interesting consideration to kill my sprite here. And I think I kind of like that because this fizzles their adventure spell. Which I'm actually perfectly fine with. This doesn't have a target, it goes to graveyard. And I like I like not taking too much damage here. Big fan of not taking too much damage here. I'll play a three four here. Okay. Because next turn I have very solid attackers, <clears throat> and his early pressure is should be stabilized by then. I mean, obviously it depends on what he draws here. He could have like a cooped up. He probably oh he kept two on top. Oof! So he has a cooped up here in hand. Most likely. Ah, this again, huh? It's like the second time that happens. I don't think you want to put. Nah, that's weird. Ah, okay. Hmm. Playing a blocker here makes no sense. He just taps it down. Or does it?
the antics are okay here. I just... <sighs> hmm... I think the antics are actually fine here. If he just attacks for three here, I'm okay with that. But the Frostbridge Guard needs to die next turn. That gives him too much value. Okay. So he puts that back. That's really good for me. That's good value. Okay. Okay. Good thing he didn't have any good attacks there. I think I do need to flick a coin here. And that's a fantastic draw. Wow, that's really, really good for us. That is actually amazing. Okay. I think we're stabilizing. Oh my god. <sighs> Fuck, how do I deal with this nonsense now? Uh, Alright. How do I beat Goose Mother? <laughs> I can't play two flyers this turn. So I think I just have to go for this line. Oh my god. Okay. Catapult. Save me, catapult! There's a blocker. I mean, he just needs one removal spell. 
we're kind of dead here. What if I played both of these? I think I live, but do I actually live is the question. I don't know. Man, uh, that one was... That's annoying. Literally one card just wins in the game there. That's annoying. I didn't even have a counter to really beat that. Um, What could I have done, though? What could I have... I could have drawn... This, is, this would have been my best draw, right? This would have been an insane draw. Everything else would have been kind of mid. Uh, I mean, antics I used earlier. No, it does. Antics doesn't actually do anything against it, right? Because of a. I mean, cut in torture tower could have dealt with it. We would have had enough mana for those. That's unlucky. But I mean, we got four wins. I'm happy with that.